Well, hello there, and thank you for coming by my Ramsey channel. I'm glad that you did. Today we're taking a look at the latest novel from Stephen King. It's called Holly. This is a book that uh, I had uh, no desire to read. Uh, I was not anxious at all about reading this book. Um, to be honest with you, the, uh, my enjoyment of Stephen King's books has gotten less and less over the years. Uh, because I don't think the books have been, they certainly haven't been necessarily to my liking. I felt like all of the uh, books pretty much past uh, the novel revival have been just kind of ho-hum. And this one, of course, features the character of Holly Gibney, who uh, first appeared in Mr. Mercedes, and then, uh, you know, worked her way through a little bit through Finders Keepers and then uh, End of Watch and then reappeared in The Outsiders and then reappeared again in If It Bleeds and she's a character that's always kind of uh, annoyed me and I'm not the only person I've heard say that. I've heard several people say they don't care for this character but King is uh, absolutely in love with her and uh, so uh, this book has the distinction of being the first Stephen King book published since uh, The Dead Zone. That I was not at the bookstore on uh, the street date on the day that it opened uh, to purchase a copy of the book. Uh, you know, I was reluctant to purchase it at all and uh, finally I saw it on sale. It was about half price and I thought, okay, I'll, I'll grab it. And I brought it home and uh, cleared out my schedule and started reading it. And I have to say that I'm glad I read it because of the books that feature the character of Holly Gibney, this one is by far the best one. And I'm not ashamed to say that I enjoyed this book. Um, the best thing about it is that uh, a lot of the things that make the Holly character so cringy or annoying or whatever they've been downplayed in this book uh, she's 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 a lot she's a lot less uh, annoying in this book and she makes some better decisions uh, in this book I think and um, so since our main character is likable in this one for me, for the first time, now a lot of people just love the character, but I've never cared for her. But I, I did find her likable and admirable in this in this novel. Uh, so that takes care of a big problem. And then the other problem that afflicts so many of Stephen King's books, and that really for me brought down his previous novel, Fairy Tale. Fairy Tales started out just gangbusters, and that book had the potential to be perhaps the greatest thing he's ever written and it does have some of his best writing in it but it just went on and on and it was so long and so many of stephen king's books have that problem you've got a great plot that's barreling along and then it comes to a halt and here you sit reading this padded out book i'm happy to say that holly does not have any padding in it maybe a little bit but this book moves along. It's fast paced. It's a tight book. Uh, everything that you do pretty much advances the plot. Now he pulls a couple of tricks where Holly in her capacity as a private investigator will go and interview somebody and oh, I don't really remember anything or whatever. And she leaves him a card and says, if you remember anything else, give me a call, you know. And she does that with several people she's interviewing. And, you know, they could have given her the information that they had right then. But for whatever reason, Stephen King uses the tricks of they call Holly out of the blue, you know, and so suddenly their character's back and it all could have been handled in a couple of pages. And Stephen King manages to get, you know, 10 or 15 pages out of something that he could have handled in two or three pages. But that's a minor complaint because... You know, the way a lot of books that Stephen King writes just are so bloated and overlong and, frankly, at times boring, uh, this book never suffers from that. There's nothing, there's nothing particularly original in this book. He's not breaking any new ground, but it's entertaining. Uh, 
I, d I wouldn't say that it's what I would call a scary book. Um, a couple times it's kind of gross, but it, it's not a book that's going to make you frightened or that you're that you would mind reading in the dark, you know, because it's just not a scary book, and I don't think it's trying to be. Um, I would probably put it in the middle of the Stephen King pack. I don't think it's any of his greatest stuff, but I thought I, I enjoyed it a lot more than I enjoyed something like uh, the recent Billy Summers. Um, I enjoyed it a lot more than Fairy Tale, although Fairy Tale was a far more inventive and entertaining and heartfelt book, I think. But uh, it was so slow and aggravating that. I didn't enjoy a lot of fairy tale, and I enjoyed everything in Holly. Uh, I think it, I think it's much better. Um, so it, it, it's light years better than something like Sleeping Beauties. Light years better than than uh, the Institute. Um, overwhelmingly better than Billy Summers. Uh, it, it's 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 one of the best books that he's published in quite a while, uh, and as I said, Fairy Tale would have been one of his best books if it hadn't have been probably 250 pages too long. Uh, but this book here is not too long, and it's good. It's enjoyable. It's um, it's a pretty classic read from Stephen King. You know, nobody's going to mistake it for The Shining, but. Um, I think anybody who reads it's probably going to enjoy it uh, because I enjoyed it and I wasn't expecting to. So it doesn't have any pictures or anything in it. And uh, it's uh, printed very cheaply by Scribner. It's one of those where uh, the ink will come off on your hands and then you'll go into the book and leave a leave some inky thumbprints and the uh, paper stock in the book is... Um, it's about like what a mass market paperback used to be, maybe a little better than that. Uh, but there's nothing remarkable about the edition of it. This is just the edition that I picked up on sale and finally read. So that's my thoughts on Stephen King's Holly. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. And uh, sorry again that Toby's not in this one, but he's, he's upstairs sleeping in a sunny patch. So... Uh, but on behalf of myself and Toby, my cat, I thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you on another one again real soon. Bye-bye.